So, if I want to write the complete loop gain transfer function, let me just quickly draw the small signal model. So, we already know the worst case is no load, so I am not having any load here. So, this is VDD, then 1 over Vm, this is nothing but H comp to and then you have beta factor, correct? H of Lg is what will be that? Beta Vdd over Vm H com. 2s h of lcs what was h com just write in terms of uh, kp K. no ki over S into 1 plus K i over K p s. K p by K i s. So, okay. What was the L c? L c at uh, R load equal to infinite or 0 load current. So, 1 over over S square plus R loss C s correct plus 1. Hmm? Sorry. Wait. So, can you find the Q naught from here? R loss by L into S. This is what you are saying. Huh? So, omega naught over Q naught. What was the what was the Q naught? Anybody remembers? 1 over R loss square root L over C. Correct. So, what is omega naught by Q naught? Square root L C over 1 over R loss L over C L cancels out R loss into C. Should be this a huh? coefficient of S. Oh, sorry. Yeah, omega naught by root LC. Then your C cancels out. So R loss by L. Okay, correct. Okay. So this term R loss by L. So now, how many poles you have? Totally we have uh, three poles. Three poles. Uh, and one zero. Yeah, you have to include that integrator. Huh? 
So, is it stable or unstable? So, 3 poles, so LGS has 3 poles and 1 0. Stable or unstable? So, system is so which means type 2 will not work for this. What can I get extra 0 from somewhere? So, we need one more 0, ok. So, I know if I put a register in series with C that gives me 1 0. Is there any one any additional capacitor here? You have this huh? C output. So, if I just put a register at the So, add ESR, ESR means equivalent series register which comes with the whenever you put a, a register in series with the filter cap, it is usually referred as ESR equivalent series register and by default all caps will have some value, uh, registers, these are parasitic register, but we are intentionally now going to put this a higher value, add ESR with output cap C. So, what what all changes will happen in, in HLC if I do that? What will change? Re resonance frequency or Q or what will be the field, uh, transfer function? Just tell me HLC. So, what extra term we are going to have here? No, register is there. In terms of pole 0, what extra we are going to get with this? And where will be that 0? R loss? Oh, R ESR will come. Huh? So, this is C, this is R E S R. Denominator, what changes? Hmm? Okay. You can derive this. So, the Q will become the fact function of R E S R. So, the R loss and R E S R will get added there. So, your resonance frequency is not changing. The two things changing your frequency response because now you have a 0 and your Q factor. So, this L C does not have any ESR and 3.3 .3 micro Henry with R loss of 100 milli ohm and this one I am putting 100 milli ohm. So, let us see. Okay, so, this is what you expect Q and your phase will drop here at resonance very quickly. So, I will draw the uh, or plot the phase response later, but first we want to compare the magnitude. So, let us see. Pro. 
okay so you can see q has dropped but resonance frequency is same it's not changing and you can see this curve is now here in zero is introduced so it's dropping with minus 20 db earlier it was dropping with minus 40 db because of the double pole so out of that double pole one pole is cancelled out due to zero and now we'll see the phase response <coughs> you can see this phase is around resonance is dropping very quickly yeah it's going very close to 180 like 170 here below 170 so if you look at a phase margin if your uh, this is resonance and let's say my ugb is somewhere around 100 kilohertz you hardly get any phase margin ha huh? 3 degrees or so so the phase margin will be nothing here now i will plot the phase of the second guy so i have introduced zero so i should expect a boost in the phase so you can see here and eventually where will it go minus 90 yeah see i mean i am plotting only 10 megahertz but so eventually it will go at higher frequency at so it's very close to minus 90 here 90.9 so only 1 degree friends okay because 90 degree phase shift you get from the zero at infinite frequency theoretically and that's why it's not showing 90 but very close to 90 okay <coughs> so that's the advantage now now if i keep moving this so if i want to move this zero at lower frequency what will happen this phase boost will increase so i want to let's say so right now i am getting a minus uh, minus 142 so 140 so 40 degrees only 40 degrees away from 180 okay i want to boost this further then i simply need to increase this so let's i make it twice so your phase will response will change accordingly okay now you get the further boost in the phase so by simply by changing this r you can keep increasing the phase margin and this zero will only define the phase margin because first zero will cancel the integrator so it will that will not benefit anything in lc pole so the one of the lc pole is cancelled only because of this zero not because of the zero which, which you are getting from your compensator so how it, how do we choose this uh, zero yeah how much phase margin you want at ugb that's a one thing but uh, <coughs> due to resonance at resonance frequency is dropping ah so one thing you have to make sure that it has to be before appear before that okay so that it should not go to zero actually so even if you place right at resonance you will get 45 degree boost ah so 45 degree phase margin by default you will get at resonance frequency even if you place this zero at resonance frequency but if if it's a very high q system then you might be slightly off so you just simply compensate that by placing this slightly before so that in the worst case even if it's happened at resonance frequency then you will at least get 45 degrees at that resonance frequency so it will not oscillate or it will it will not go unstable so which means i will call it omega z esr okay equal to 1 over should appear before resonance 
1 over square root and c ok. Now, let us take the example. So, L equal to uh, 3.3 micro Henry, C equal to 10 micro Farad. So, what is your uh, omega naught? 1 over how much is that? Mm, 1 over 3.3 .3 into 10 square root 10 power minus 12. Okay. So, this become 10 power 6 over square root 33. How much is this? 0.1? Point one? Point one Mega. Mega. 0.174 mega radian per second, which means F naught is point one seven four divided by six point two eight, huh? Point one seven four six point two eight twenty seven twenty eight kilohertz roughly, huh? uh, Sorry, uh, yeah, twenty eight kilohertz. Uh, we can check from here uh, if it is appearing at that. Okay, 27.8, 28 Okay. So, 1 over RESRC, if I make it equal to this 0.174 into 10 power 6. We can calculate RESR from here, the minimum RESR value, but we will keep it slightly higher than that. So, can we detail quickly what is the value of RESR? So, 1 over C into 0.174 into 10 power 6. How much is this? Okay, 5, 7 ohm. Huh? It's almost half a ohm, which means if I put this 0 So, 0 has appearing very close to because your curve has changed right from here. So, we look at phase. Okay. So, this is your resonance frequency. It is going 90 here. So, I mean Yeah. Okay. So, your 0 is now dominant here and it never allows this go below if you say 90 minus 90. Okay.